హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు కోడ్ సూత్ర లెట్ సాల్వ్ లీడ్ కోడ్ ప్రాబ్లం వన్ టూ వన్ ఎయిట్ లాంగెస్ట్ అర్థమెటిక్ సబ్సీక్వెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎ గివెన్ డిఫరెన్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ వీ ఆర్ గివెన్ అన్ అరే అండ్ వీఆర్ గివెన్ అ డిఫరెన్స్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫైండ్ ద లాంగెస్ట్ అర్థమెటిక్ సబ్సీక్వెన్స్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ అ సబ్సీక్వెన్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ ప్లేస్ సబ్సీక్వెన్స్ వీ పిక్ ఎనీ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ క్యారెక్టర్స్ బట్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు బి ఇన్ ద సేమ్ ఆర్డర్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ జీరో టూ సిక్స్ ఇస్ అ సబ్సీక్వెన్స్ సిమిలర్లీ జీరో ఫోర్ టెన్ విల్ బి ఎ సబ్సీక్వెన్స్ Similarly, you can just pick up 0. That is also a subsequence. Then again, you can pick the entire array. That will also be a subsequence. But this 0, 6, 2, is this a subsequence? No. Why? Because we have altered the order of this element. So this won't be subse subsequence. But you can pick any number of elements. But it has to be in the same order. So that is the definition of a subsequence. So in this problem, we have to find a subsequence where... it forms an arithmetic sequence and it is of the longest length for example we are given the difference is equal to 2 let's see all the subsequences which have an arithmetic sequence and the difference is 2 this is one such sequence which has a difference of 2 and there is another thing to that start with 6 8 10 and 12 and which is a length of 4, which is a length of 3. So this will be our answer, which is 4 in this case. But if you look here, 0 itself is a subsequence. 0, 2 will also form a subsequence and it is also an arithmetic subsequence, which is of length 2. So, but we have to return the maximum length, that is 4 in this case. So how do we go about this? Let's first look at the brute force approach. How do we go about the brute force approach? For example, our starting element is 0. And we are given that the difference is 2. So you can first element is 0. What will be the next element? The next element should be 2. Why we have to add 2 to this? What we do is we go on until we find a 2. Did we find a 2? Yes, we found a 2. What will be the next element? The next element will be 4. So we skip this element and we go to 4. Next, we try to find 6 here. But is 6 anywhere? No. So 3 will be the sub answer in this case. So any subsequence that is starting with 0 can have a maximum length of 3. So this is the brute force approach. Similarly, when we start from 2, we will be doing the same thing. 2. What is the next element? 4. Do we have a 6? No. We will be searching all the space to find it. But the length is 2. The answer will be 2 where it will be starting from 2. So this is one such case. And again, we start with 6, 8, 10 and 12. We find 4 and that will be our answer. But what is the repeating operation that we are doing here? If you look here, this we already calculated. But again, we are calculating this once again. Should we do that? This may be a very short case. But if you look for 6, we will be calculating for 6. Again, we will be calculating for 8, 10 and 12. So we should use a memory to avoid this. That is, once we have done for this, we should be able to avoid this. Or, in other case, if you look previously, what we can do is, we can remember, let me take the same example, let me copy the same example from there to here. And, what can be done here? See, instead of 6, 8, 10 and 12 instead of going in this order can we come from this order that is we know that 6 being the first element of this series what is the length of the subsequence now it is just 1 now when you go to 8 what we'll be doing is we try to find 6 that is 8 minus 2 and we will ask how many elements are ending with 6 right so in this case we'll be adding 1 to that 1 plus 1 let me repeat this again. So there is some number 10 here. Now what is 10 minus 2? That is equal to 8. Now we will remember how many subsequences are there that are ending with 8. Or what is the length of the maximum subsequence that is ending with 8. So once we know that, suppose let it be 4, let it be 5. What we will be doing? We will be adding it to 10. For example, this is 8 and 10. We know that. The large, longest subsequence ending with 8 equals 5. So what will be the longest subsequence ending with 10? So it will be 6, right? We are just adding 1 to that. 
so that is what we will be doing here we will be memorizing everything so the for the first element for example we'll go to 6 and we will try to find out for 4 why 6 minus 2 is 4 how many subsequences are ending with 4 0 right why till we are until this point we have not encountered 4 for 4 it will be 0 so for 6 it will be 0 plus 1 for 6 we will be remembering 6 is equal to 1 similarly for 8 when we go that we will try to search for 6 and we will store 2 similarly for 10 we will be storing 3 and for 12 we will be storing 4 and this will be our maximum answer so if you look here what is the data structure that we are using here the data structure that we are using here is hash map so let me dive into the pseudo code for this we will be having a hash map and we have initiated our answer to 1 and also the previous number just to keep track of what is the previous numbers longest arithmetic subsequence then for every number what we will do is we will check in the map if there is a number for example for 6 we check if there is a 4 since there is no 4 our default value will be 0 but if there is already a 6 we will be returning that value and we will be adding 1 to that value and our answer is either the existing answer or we'll be updating the answer. So that is one way of doing this. But there is a better way of doing this even only for this particular problem. It is given that our difference and also our A of i is in the range of minus 10 power 4 to 10 power 4. So what is the answer range or the range that can go is from minus 20,000, 20 power 4 to plus 20. So what we are doing here is we are just having a difference array of this length and we are doing the same operation. Instead of storing it in a hash map, we are storing it in a difference array. But the thing is we have to add 20,000 at every step. Why? Because array doesn't have negative and just to offset this we are adding 20,000. But every other step remains the same. Now there are very similar problems that are similar to this these are some of the problems that are from easy level to difficult level and we have a dedicated telegram group i have mentioned the link in the description you can consider joining the group where we'll be discussing questions like this and also conducting workshops on this so consider joining the telegram group let's dive into the actual code of this problem this is the first code it is straight away the pseudo code that we discussed that we are initiating a map we are initiating the answer and for every element what we do is we try to find whatever is the previous value if there is a previous value we will try to get that value if not zero is our default value then we'll be updating the maps value for example eight try to find for six how much did six have six had one so eight will be updated to two now in the hash map now finally our answer will also be updated accordingly now finally the same thing goes for this array but instead of using a hash map we are using a different array Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe.